Alkaline fens support distinctive animal and plant communities, many of them rare and threatened. For an alkaline fen to occur, we need the right geology, in this case limestone or chalk bedrock. The issues threatening alkaline fens are neglect. Fens are no longer grazed or managed in any way, so that leads to scrub and trees taking over. Also the negative use of the land surrounding fens, for instance, urbanisation and the application of agricultural fertilisers greatly affects the quality of a fen. Why do I want to restore the fen on the site? Well, we always thought that it was very beautiful, very peaceful. We've seen an increase in the number of volunteers helping us, which has been wonderful. We've now learnt just how many unique plants and flowers there are associated with this site. We have a unique position here, so anything we can do to encourage Freshwater Habitats Trust to stick with us and help us as they have done and do, we'd be very, very happy with. Fens are a fantastic habitat and Cot Hill Fen in particular has got a really interesting history. So the site, historically, it probably would have had light extensive grazing, probably from animals like cattle and horses, because it would have just been too wet to be suitable for, for agriculture type uses. And when you don't have that grazing element on a fen, you get that succession into scrub and then eventually into woodland habitat. And that's what we kind of want to stop, that succession. Since we've kind of come in and started doing lots of scything and raking, we're seeing species that haven't been recorded returning to site. Things like the bladderwort was recorded in the outflow leet, the marsh arrowgrass has come back, which is really exciting. So it'd be lovely to see these species continue to thrive.